You might think it would be obvious if you had high blood sugar, but it's actually entirely possible for signs of high blood sugar to fly under the radar. There are a lot of people who don't realize they have high blood sugar. So, if this is the case for you, you certainly are not alone. As of 2018, more than 34 million people in the United States are living with diabetes. It is a condition that occurs when your blood sugar is too high. This is either as a result of insulin resistance, which is in the case of type 2 diabetes, or as a result of your pancreas. Not making any or enough insulin, which is in the result of type 1 diabetes. But 21% of adults with diabetes are unaware they have the disease. In addition to that, there are more than 88 million people in the United States, or more than one in three adults, who have prediabetes, which occurs when blood sugar is higher than normal, but not high enough to be called diabetes. But before we go over the most common signs that your body's blood sugar may be too high, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. High blood sugar occurs when there is a buildup of excess glucose in the bloodstream. There is more often a concern for someone with diabetes than it is for someone without it. Our bodies are typically pretty great at keeping our blood sugar in perfect balance. But in some situations, like when a person has diabetes, high blood sugar can occur. You may be thinking that high blood sugar can happen just from eating a super sugary food. Of course, consuming a lot of sugar or carbs can elevate your blood sugar level. But that's typically when your pancreas kicks into gear and creates insulin to move that glucose. Into cells throughout your body, but when someone has diabetes, this finely tuned system gets thrown out of whack. In type 2 diabetes, the body either can't make enough insulin, or cannot utilize insulin well. If someone has pre-diabetes, their blood glucose will be higher than normal, but not quite in the type 2 diabetes range yet. And in type 1 diabetes, the body does not make insulin or makes very little insulin. For many people with uncontrolled high blood sugar, they find themselves hungrier than usual, which signals a symptom called polyphagia. According to the Mayo Clinic, although you're eating more, you may be losing weight for no apparent reason if your blood sugar levels are too high. Since your body is not getting energy from the preferred source of glucose, it has to turn to muscle and fat. When your body starts breaking down muscle and fat for energy, you experience unintentional and unhealthy weight loss. In addition to these changes in weight and appetite, you may notice weakness in your muscles and experience more frequent falls, fatigue, and extreme tiredness. Are also symptoms of uncontrolled blood sugar. So, simply put, when your body is not processing insulin properly, or it doesn't have sufficient amounts of insulin, the sugar is staying in our blood rather than getting into our cells to be used for energy. Also, frequent urination can lead to dehydration, which is usually another contributing factor to fatigue. You may notice that your vision is not as clear as it used to be, and that things may appear a bit blurry. High blood sugar levels can lead to swollen lenses in your eye, from fluid leaking in. This changes the shape of the lens, which makes it unable to properly focus, causing blurred vision. You may also find yourself struggling at work and having difficulty driving. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, cuts, scrapes, bruises, and other wounds heal much more slowly in the presence of uncontrolled blood sugar. Diabetes causes nerve damage 
and affects circulation, especially in the lower legs and feet, which can delay healing because there isn't enough blood flow to the area. Even minor wounds are more prone to infections, which can become very serious and even result in amputations of the foot. The American Podiatrist Medical Association has noted that you may notice drainage seeping onto your socks or an unpleasant smell if you develop a foot ulcer. Uncontrolled blood sugar can cause nerve damage, also known as diabetic neuropathy. What you may notice is a tingling sensation or even numbness in your hands and feet. Some people experience pain in their hands and feet as well. The neuropathy is most common in people who have had diabetes for a long time. It can occur in anyone with poorly controlled diabetes. Small pieces of extra skin, called skin tags, may form in the creases of your skin. Dark, thick areas of soft skin may form on the back of your neck or hands, armpits, face, or other areas. These can be a sign of insulin resistance, blisters, infections, dryness, itchiness, discolorations, and abnormalities of the skin can all be warning signs of high blood sugar. So it's important to check with your physician if these skin changes develop. Gum disease is a complication of diabetes. It can also make diabetes harder to control because the body's response to infection is to release more glucose into the bloodstream. Your saliva contains glucose and the more it contains, the more there is to feed the bacteria that combine with food in your mouth to form plaque and cause gum disease. Symptoms can include red or inflamed gums at first. If they are unaddressed, they can progress to gum disease, which can cause your gums to pull away from your teeth, the appearance of pus, ulcers, or even tooth loss. It is key to get your blood sugar under control and see a dental professional to prevent damage to your gums and teeth. If you're experiencing many of these symptoms, that may be a sign that you should talk to your physician about your concerns. An expert like a primary care provider can help you determine if you have high blood sugar or diabetes or prediabetes. Even if you're not sure that's exactly what's going on, it's still worth having a conversation with your physician and find other possible causes behind your symptoms.